Hi, this is Emil from Twingate. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a Twingate connector into Microsoft Azure. There are several ways to do this, including using our native Terraform and Pulumi providers, but today we're going to be using the Azure Cloud Shell and our Twingate CLI tool. So how do we get started? Well, there's a few ways to deploy Twingate uh, in Azure, like with other clouds. And they include, for example, Pulumi and Terraform. But today we're going to use Cloud Shell. So I'm going to click on the Cloud Shell icon from my Azure portal. And I prefer using Bash, so I've got a Bash prompt. Now, all I need to do here is get a copy of the TG CLI. So I go to github.com slash twingate hyphen labs slash TG hyphen CLI. I can go to the releases page and grab the latest Linux binary. So I just copy that. I can download it into my Cloud Shell, and then I can unzip it. Once it's unzipped, all I need to do is make it executable, so that's chmod plus x, tg, and now I'm ready to use it. I'll need a couple of other things. I'll need a Twingate account, which is free to sign up, so I'm using my account called Emerald. I'll need a remote network for the uh, Azure environment so i'll do that here we'll call it azure that remote network is set up just while we're here if you already have a virtual machine you can actually click on a connector and follow the deployment mechanisms here uh, this will use a container deployment the other option that you have available is if you have a virtual machine you can actually just run this command just copy and paste it but we're going to use the cli as i mentioned so let's just skip this for now but i will need an API token. So if I go to settings and I click on API, I'll generate a new token and I'll call it um, TG Azure Cloud Shell. And the permission level for deploying a connector has to be read, write, and provision. And I'll just click generate. I'll need to re authenticate one more time. And once I've done that, I should be able to copy and paste my token. So I'll copy that. I will be removing this token after this video. So now uh, to deploy a VM, I just need to do TG deploy AZ VM. I'll type in my Twingate account name and I can paste in my API key. Let me just make this a little bigger. I'll save it to the file. Okay. So the first thing to do is choose the remote network that I want to deploy into. I'll select Azure. That's the remote network that we just created. And I can choose the connector that I want to deploy. So we'll pick Purple Rooster. And now the tool is going to interact with the Azure CLI that's already pre-installed on the Cloud Shell. So I, don't, I didn't need to deploy it as a, a dependency here. So I will select that I want to deploy in the labs resource group. So let's just take a look. I've got a bunch of resource groups in here and if I click on here. And I can, mm -hmm. you can see I've got various resource groups. I want to actually deploy into the labs resource group. And what the CLI tool has done is gone through and chosen for me the various options. So what I'll do, it's just something seems to have gone wrong there. Let's just redo this. Ah, sorry, too many copy and paste. So I'm going to choose the remote network that we created earlier. I choose the connector and then I can choose the resource group. So I have a resource group called labs. I'm going to use that one. And the CLI tool will show me the various subnets that are available in there. So there's a couple of interesting things. There's a little message here. If we select a subnet without a NAT, then an IP address will be assigned to your connector. That's a public IP address. If I did select a subnet that has a NAT gateway, it would use that NAT gateway for its outbound connectivity. So let's just go ahead and put it in the private subnet. I can choose whether I want a new or existing uh, public key. So I will just select a new one and I can give it a name. So TG um, Azure Connectors, I can use that. 
it will generate the key locally and it will save it as indicated and then it will go create the VM. I just need to make sure that I grab these keys uh, off the cloud shell if I need to access it from my machine. So what I can do now is look at the network and I can see in here, this will go green once the connectors come online. Whilst we're waiting, let's just talk through a moment what we can do once these connectors or this connector comes online. Well, Twingate is a remote access solution and with it, it's a bit like a replacement for a VPN. If you've had to deploy Azure VPN gateway or OpenVPN, you'll probably be familiar with some of the pain points around those solutions. And Twingate is a modern alternative that allows you to easily deploy and manage um, a remote access solution instead of having to rely on a clunky VPN. Okay, we see the connector is now online. It took about two minutes. And we see the metadata, so which VNet we deployed to, which resource group, etc. And we see the public IP address of that connector. If I am interested, I can go into my resource group and I should be able to see it as a resource. There we are, TG Purple Rooster. So that's it, connector is deployed. We're now ready to start granting access to resources and we'll cover a few ideas around how to do that in a follow-up video.